Submit for your approval. A fan base show who encompasses the multi twine multiverse of superheroes, villains, sci fi, fantasy, horror, and action comedy. All whose genesis stems from the printed page of the comic book. At the logo streaming toward your head, you've just entered into comics. Welcome back, comic book fans and con fans alike, and pop culture fans alike, to Comics, Cons, and Beyond. That's right, I have what I'm going to be covering for this holiday special, right in my greedy little hands. And speaking of which, that's what this is. This is our 2016 holiday special, because it it is the holidays, of course. And, and know what's interesting? What? The first night of Hanukkah falls on Christmas Day. Who would have known? With me as usual, my crimes in comic madness is... Bob. And... Adam. And I am your reverend host, Lawrence. And uh, let's go ahead and start it off. Uh, we got a lot of news coming up uh, for this coming segment of... Comic Book to Screen Shenanigans. Oh, yeah. That's right. And who wants to lead off this little jaunt this evening? Well, there's so much to talk about. Where do we start? I mean, mm. it's first of all, nice. first of all, we've all been out of it for a week or so. A week or so. And we do yeah. apologize for that. Um, we'd also like to thank you for tuning in, um, being that this is obviously our first holiday season here. So right. thank you all for watching as well. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. And thank well, you very much. Kwanzaa. Right on. Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> awesome. raise, a, uh, raise a goblet of mead to that one. But um, as far as movies come out, obviously we know um, Rogue One. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Honorable and mention. I think we've all seen it already, right? No, unfortunately, probably tomorrow. Uh, go in the corner and think about what you didn't do. All I wanted to do was see The Force, and I did it. Well, apparently there's not too much of The Force when you do see it in there anyway, so... So well. far, you like, it's going to be interesting to have a storyline without the constant idea of the Jedis. I'm sorry, the Jedis are kind of like... Uh, what's I'm looking for? They're like the invulnerable. Well, they're invulnerable yeah. to the storyline. You mean OP? OP, thank you. Yeah, uh, they're pretty much in line with the storyline of Star Wars. That's what it's all about. But we do have the ramblings of one of the main characters go, I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. So it does get an honorable mention, so it's not fully out of the uh, story. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a thing all in the back of our... It's integral to the... Yeah. yeah. Medical That's the word we're looking for. Um, and then, for movies that you still will have to catch up on, uh, Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed came out, I believe, uh, when, well, today, or when did it come out? It came out recently. Oh, it had it been this last week or something like that? I think it had, like, a weird... Yeah, all the early um, showings just released, and early reviews have been pouring in. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And so far, how's Assassin's Creed stacking up? Poorly. Oh, no Michael. video game oh. curse has been lifted yet. Oh, Michael Fassbender. We're sorry, dude. Yeah. Mm. I Super Mario Brothers. Fassbender has a place <laughs> in my heart. Oh my God, really? Mm. Mm. Goomba. Well, we also have Wonder Woman coming up. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. They better not overplay that little theme song, like the little guitar rip that's her entrance. Yeah. They better not just play it every time she does something. But they will. Is anybody they else will. just really getting tired of, and I, I know this is blasphemy, but just superhero movies? Maybe if they did something alternate, like the mm. big ones, like honestly, like maybe if they went to some of the, the not alternate, but less... The lesser known characters, yeah. but still people would go, oh my gosh, I remember yeah. seeing that somewhere. Yeah, yeah, like V for Vendetta or Watchmen, like those ones were. Legion's coming out. Legion. Legion. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, we have we do we do know that there are a couple things coming out. Um, Captain mm -hmm. Marvel. On, on interesting mention to mm -hmm. see where they're gonna go with that. Um, obviously, they still haven't cast a, a, a producer or a director for that yet. It's we're supposed to be this. kind of probably during the, the new year or after the new year. So that's gonna be another interesting one. It's just very. I feel like formulaic at this point. I mean, we know that Disney has movies that work. Um, I was glad to see Rogue One break out of that kind of Disney's formula, and it, yeah. Was, yeah. it was nice to see that. For all of you out there that haven't seen it, I'd recommend going and seeing it. I liked it significantly more than The Force Awakens. 
Oh, um, just because it was different. Hands down. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. Yeah. But I, f I feel like, as it stands right now, Marvel is just, okay, we got something that works, let's stick with that, and DC's like, well, we need something that works, let's just try and cram it all into one movie so we can catch up. And they're, yeah. they're too much into the formula. Not right. enough people are trying to break the mold yes. to really be you know, yeah, adventurous. Yeah. Safe bet. Yeah. yeah. Safe a constant problem. Hell, it's even a problem with gaming, the, 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 uh, which is called groups. Like, not many my, I, new IPs are launched, so... Go with the easy win, like what I was going to bring up right now is Spider Man, the easy <gasps> win. Yeah. Homecoming? Yeah, because I want to see Spider Man in high school again. Because that wasn't interesting, you know, the first five times. Of course not. I mean, ha ha you know, retelling of the origin and the high school drama that Peter Parker went through, that never gets old. But it's not an origin story. For those of They're you They're not doing origin story. Oh, true, but, you know, it, it, yeah, he's barely into it. Uh, I want to see Spider-Man as Apex, which is what I thought this one would be, because they had set him up in, the, you know, the Avengers film. Oh, yeah. sorry, not the Avengers film, sorry, Civil War. Civil War? Yes. Well, Captain I, America. So for those of you that are actually wind up kind of following us from the get-go, speaking to Ben, one of the people we had on the show, mm -hmm. to speak beforehand, and, and it's just kind of like, I'm not going to say this movie is going to be bad. I don't no. want I don't want to go into it saying that, but I'm just not interested in it. I'm, I just have no... I'm like, oh, it looks look okay. Yeah. But we know what's going to happen, and and this this weird, like, okay, well, we're going to have that kind of Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy character who's not really a Gwen <laughs> Stacy character because she's a different race or ethnicity or, mm. you know, it, it's kind of like, mold. why do we have well, to always break them? Why don't we just take yeah, something, okay. make it work, mm -hmm. and continue? Well, he's had red, he's had white, now he's going a little darker. Mm, that's yeah. true, that's true. Uh, you know, I, I, I wish, again, Marvel would learn from the successes, and I know we've ranted and raved about this, their successes on Netflix on how to tell a story and bring the characters and storylines to life. I wish they would translate yeah, that to the movies. Mm -hmm. But we need a ballsy director to take the helm on it and fight the studios on that to get that to happen, just like what they did with Deadpool. And again, V for Vendetta and Watchmen, yeah. all great. And 300, of course. 300 was epic. Huh? Sin City, yeah. that's right, Sin City. All epic, epic fucking movies. We need, I think, we need people to start writing films and, and less just movies. I know that it seems kind of silly to say, but... The, it, I mean, true, there's a difference. Yeah, I mean, it really, we, we need to see something that, that draws us in and takes us on a ride and not just, okay, people are happy with, you know, somebody who's not really sure of themselves, they kind of have a falling point, they come back up, and then they achieve something that normally they couldn't do. I mean, it's great, and we all feel good for it, but it's been done since the 80s and 70s and, and all of these these... Disney movies and it worked in like cartoons, but now that we see it in our yeah. superheroes, it's like yeah, you know, they're gonna fall, but we need to see them become human, you know. Yeah. And I and I feel like they're still locked in that fairy tale that like, well, yeah. it's not nearly that bad. You can always come back from it, and and a lot of us want to see yeah, man, let it get bad, let it get to what some of us out there feel every day, you know, and then bring us back up to let us know that maybe maybe we can achieve it, but then maybe it's... But it's a hard struggle. We sacrifice our, yeah. a part of ourselves on the way there. Yeah, And I don't sure. feel like a lot of that's that's being relayed through a lot of these superhero movies. No, unfortunately well, not. Yeah, Logan, but, Logan is actually going to be... Um, Hugh Jackman so, um, took a huge pay cut to get more rights and freedom to the Logan movie, which is actually going to be darker and going to be more of a humanizing form of Wolverine. It's yeah. actually been... No, and same thing with Ben Affleck's Batman. He's yeah. taking a long time to produce it, write it, and direct it to make it just the Batman we need. Very good points, Jeremy. And Jeremy, as you know, is our gamer guy in the gamer's realm, and we'll have more for you on the gaming later on in the episode. But definitely very valid points. And those are those are gems of promise that actually uh, I'm looking forward to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if that's the case, I mean, and, and I, I do feel like, you know, Ben Affleck just kept kind of get a bad rap and it, and it does yeah. suck to see that you know because the, he's the come bad, a long way yeah he definitely has I mean Daredevil obviously we know <laughs> that he didn't direct that so no. it's not like he should be condemned for it um, with Batman I feel like 
it, the potential is there. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm excited to see where he goes with it. I'm not going to say it's going to be great. I'm not going to say it's going to be bad. And I hate to kind of flip flop, but I think everything in the future will happen. Ooh. It will be terrible, good, terrible, terrible, good, and then at one point, man, effect, he's going to slap Jayla. Ooh. And Twenty-seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes predicted. There we go. Jeez. And Rotten Tomatoes is oh. just right. Oh my god. Let's talk about one trailer I'm <laughs> excited for. Yes. It was uh, Ghost in the Shell. Oh yeah, oh, Ghost biggest, in the Shell. The yes, yes, yes. New Ash international trailer, which, you know, it's mm -hmm. got some subtitles, but who cares? Because you get to see finally the other characters in costume. Like, we get to see Bato, who's honestly just as much as the main character as the major. I almost said major character as the major, but I didn't. Minor major. Yeah, you just addressed it now. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. And so that one's really exciting because that's honestly, it's the first, well, it's not the first, it's one of the main comic books coming to a film, but it's from the manga genre, as yes. opposed to just the, mostly the American one, so I'm interested to see how the adaptation works, because there's a lot of kind of splinter storylines to focus on for Ghost in the Shell. And that should be interesting. All right, let's wrap up comic book to screen adaptations with Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. Dreidel, 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 these are eight movies from comic books to screen adaptations I wish they never played. Ta-da! At number eight, Suicide Squad, because it should have been about the Joker and a little more Batman, more Harley Quinn, and not so, oh my gosh, we're doing shots at a bar? We're friends! Really? And the we're witch, wiki, whatever? Really? At number seven, the Fantastic Four. The new one, didn't bother seeing it. It was a piece of garbage. It never should have been done. I'm telling you, you know nothing about comic book. The movie adaptation ought to be ashamed of yourself. At number six, Punisher, The War Zone. Enough said about that. At number five, X-Men Apocalypse. Surprise. It was definitely an apocalypse in the box office. Yes, it was. It took a big apocalypse in the box. At number four, we were just talking about it, Daredevil. Not Ben Affleck's fault. Bad scripting. Bad directing. Just overall crap. At number three, and I'm very sorry to say this, Bob, Spawn. John Leguizamo carried that whole movie. Other than that, it was a fart in hell. It truly was. At number two, Spider-Man 3. Because who likes to watch Peter Parker be a screaming little Elmo bitch? And wrapping up, the eight worst movies from comic books to screen adaptations for Hanukkah. Well, they weren't done for Hanukkah, but my Hanukkah offering is... Drum roll, please. Green Lantern. That's right. Green Lantern. Everybody hated it. It was worth hating. And even Mattel wishes that it did have its product placement in that movie. What's going on in the publishing world? Reborn, uh, the comic book I've been talking about a great deal. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I can't stop talking about it. The storyline's just getting better and better, guys. We're up to volume five now, I'm sorry, issue five. And it has the actual storyline of an adventure, whereas most comic book stories are the firemen. They have their base, they have all their great stuff, they have a problem, they go solve, they put out the fires, they come back home. Reborn is a journey. It's a huge journey through an unknown world where no one in the entire storyline has a grand scope idea of what's going on. I can't go on enough about that series. I'm sorry. It's getting so good. Well, uh, one that sticks out to me um, mm -hmm. in particular, and I hate to bash this drum repeatedly over and over again, but I'm going to do it for all everybody's sake. Little drummer boy, let's bring that in there. It's his holiday season. Let's go with it. Um, Venom just rolled out, Ooh. which is really exciting for, for me um, because it's it's long overdue at this point. I mean, I was kind of excited where they, they kind of ended Flash Thompson, uh, but we have a new person that took over the suit, um, which is absolutely out of control. Um, he seems like a psychopath. A little bit more of what we normally see from Cletus Cassidy um, for Carnage. Um, he's not afraid of killing people um, by any means. So go out there, pick up the first issue, good time to jump on. 
um, for those who are experienced with Venom as well as those who want to kind of get involved with it because I've heard yeah. there's some rumors out there that they're going to wind up coming out with a Venom movie here. We'll see where they go with that, with Homecoming coming out, see if they kind of start incorporating that. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's definitely a good way to jump on. Um, I recently picked up Doctor Strange. Um, yeah. Because obviously, who wouldn't at this point with the movie coming out? Um, and I, I think it's probably it already came out. Well, what did I say? Coming out. Oh, well, it's coming out again for me. Okay, whatever. With the comic books. Sure. Um, it's a good point to to jump on. Um, they have about two trade paperbacks out worth, so that's about probably we're looking at ten or upwards of comic books. Um, mm -hmm. So not too many. It's like I said, it's a really good point to jump on. Storyline's great. Art's great. Um, and, and I can't put it down. It's my favorite Marvel story right now. Um, right. Very cool. I got something. I got something. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, come, come on, come on. Get, get your enemy in here. Overwatch release. A new comic. Tracer's gay. She has a girlfriend. Love it. Also, Method Man has made a new Ghost Rider um, comic oh. that features Ghost Rider versus Santa. Or no, Krampus. Santa's shadow. Mm. That's all for me. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. And speaking of which, who was that guy that just jumped in here? That would be uh, your son, I think. Mean? Oh, that's right. That's I hope you don't forget me. I would never forget you. And speaking of which, it's that time, boys and girls. It really is for the Gamers Realm. Come on, Jeremy. Tell us about what's going on with the games. Hey guys, welcome to the Gamers Realm. And for the holidays, I bring you the gift of gaming news. Let's get started. Now, with The Last Guardian, it has been released, finally, after so many delays. But the review's kind of shaky. Main reason, Trico's AI. And the camera angles, I mean, they're famous for the bad camera angles. I mean, look at Shadow of Colossus. Still love the game, no, no, nonetheless. But Trico's AI is a little uh, a little shaky due to programming. Um, one thing that's been catching on is that Trico's AI will sometimes not respond to you, and sometimes it'll take more than five times to request something. So let's hope they kind of fix that bug somehow. Um, next up, we have Super Mario Run. Now, Nintendo has been dominating a lot lately with Nintendo Switch, Pokemon Sun and Moon. You also have the new Universal Studios teaming up with Nintendo. So, that, that's awesome. But Super Mario Run has actually been dominating the iOS and Android um, app store with, for the first week, it's number one. So, that's awesome. That's a lucky coin. Um, in other news, we have Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go has released a new event, not only releasing a custom Pikachu, which, if you catch him, he has a new Santa hat, and when he evolves into Raichu, he keeps it, which is nice. Not only that, but baby evolutions have been introduced. So you get Pichu, Clef Cleffa, you have Iglypuff, I think that's the one that evolves into Jigglypuff, and then you have Magby. I think there's a few other ones that they're sneaking in, but Gen 2 has been delayed, well, the Pokédex has registered up to that, for some places. For me, I'm still waiting on that. I, I don't know. Um, but, in other ways, we are transferring up to League of Legends. Now, League of Legends has gone into a huge, huge viewpoint in the esports um, community, not only with World Champions ending and with um, All-Stars also ending, but now we hear that Disney, as well as MLB, has bought the streaming rights to League of Legends. Yes, they talked to right, and now we'll be probably having Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, or Goofy commentating for us. That's, that's Touch fun. Is Goofy. Yeah. Um, and any news? We have also Bard. Actually, no, not Bard. Different support. Braum. Yes, Braum has a new skin finally. Santa Bard. I don't know why I keep saying Bard. I love Bard. He's a fun AP um, support that is just trolly as all hell. But Braum has a new skin, Santa Braum, with a present as his shield, and his recall is actually a Santa sleigh with Poros pulling it, which is, I think, amazing. But anyways, that's it for Gamers Realm, passing it back to you guys. Happy Holidays. Well, that was awesome as usual. Thank you, Jeremy. And we will hear from him again when we do our... <laughs> end of the year 2016 new year 2017 episode that's right beware it is coming after this one god sometime soon next year holds for everything <gasps> oh god help you guys next year we're gonna be on a roll yes we will it's gonna get real real awkward shit just got real 
and we're out of time. Wow, look at that. Dang, <laughs> we gotta go. But as always, we do appreciate you tuning in. We truly, truly do. And we wanna hear what you fans have to say. Tell us what your eight worst uh, comic book to screen adaptations were what your favorite comics are, what you would like to see, whatever, you let us know. Put the comments down below the video. Like us, subscribe to us, pass us around like, uh, you know, cheap so date. much, yeah, cheap date, so much eggnog. There we go. Everybody's gonna get a taste. For Comics, Cons, and Beyond, I am Lawrence. Occasionally I'm Bob. Today I'm Adam. Yes, he is. And we will see ya.